And welcome back. Our next guest is a yoga instructor and joins us today for a look at a Yoga Sunday. Yes, Yoga Sunday, right here in the Bronx, and the physical and mental health aspects of yoga. We welcome Victor Chavez to the show. Victor, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, when you mention yoga, a lot of people wonder, you know, what do you do? I see a lot of people with their eyes closed or doing strange things, which looks like strange to people who are not into <laughs> yoga. Um, so tell us about some of the work that, that you do in yoga. Um, more specifically, what I do is I, I try to bring yoga to the community, right? So that's why I've been focusing here in the, in the Bronx for like going on four years now. Um, I try to get yoga to our people because our people seem to have uh, a gap in connecting with yoga itself. Yeah. Um, there's also that stereotypical thing that says that men, you know, Hispanic and black men really shouldn't do yoga, don't do yoga, because yoga is like, you know, I'm not going to attach the titles to it, but I'm sure you've heard that yoga is for mostly women and not such a, a thing for men, which is not the truth because the history of yoga is yoga was taught to men only. Women were not allowed to, to learn about yoga. It was, um, I don't know how many years now, but the women got into it. And in the American culture, women are dominant in yoga. Yeah. But what I do with yoga is I try to get people to go on this journey inward. I want them to identify who they truly are. Yes, and that's the thing. You know, we're living in this outside world, but inside the world is bigger than what you see on the outside. Tell us about that. So basically, like they say that we're stardust. It, it's really true because the universe that's outside that we know about and the, that is inside of us, just like the five elements, right? Yeah. People say, what do you mean by the five elements? Well, all the five elements in six exist inside of us. Water, air, fire, um, ether, which is called space, and earth. And, you know, and I usually explain to people how all those ingredients are inside of us. And, but my, my goal and my mission is to get more people involved in yoga because yoga has great benefits. I've been practicing for 14 years. I've been teaching now going on five years and four out of those five have been here in the Bronx. Um, and I teach like to charter schools here in the Bronx, yeah. to 10 year old little girls, oh, teaching yeah. them how to change. And what I pick up from them is low self-esteem. So that no gives, yeah, um, so that gives me an opportunity to teach them about that they are powerful, they're intelligent, they're beautiful, they're full of love, and inside in the right side of their heart, there's a piece of God or the divinity, and that's why we're all divine beings. So I teach that to the kids as well as adults so they can understand that we're more than what we appear to be. Yes, yes. And, and society has conditioned us to believe that beauty is something they paint on television or in magazines. Yeah. But you're beautiful. You was born. You was given that breath. And the breath is the most important thing. I tell my students, you know what happens if you stop breathing? And they're like, oh, I'll get dizzy. Or oh, I might faint. I say, no. You could go without water and you could go without food. But if you stop breathing, you die. It's so done. the breath is the life force. So I teach breathing techniques. I teach meditation, which is not the sitting like this, yeah, yeah, looking yeah. like Buddha type, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a simple, um, it works for you individually. So I tell people, go sit by the ocean, look at the waves, no matter how you sit, on a yeah. rock, on a bench, whatever, and look at the waves and watch the, bra the waves come in and go out. And try to connect the sound of the waves to your breath. If you, and you will connect, if you listen, intently to your breath it sounds just like the ocean because we are all one and with that technique you're meditating because you start to listen to that powerful sound that the earth has yeah. that the ocean has and that we'd have but a lot of people are so disconnected they're disconnected and how do you, how do you make the connection where you can get people to understand that okay i'm following the the waves and i'm breathing with the waves what am I going to get out of this? How do, I, how do I make this connection? What am I looking for? You don't, you don't go with expectations. 
You just go there for the experience. So listening to the sound of the waves and just watching the water, how powerful it is. I always, I always quote Bruce Lee. He says, you put the water in a cup and the water becomes the cup. Ah, he says, you put yeah. the water in a yeah. teacup, and I'm sounding a little bit like how yeah, you yeah, said yeah, it, right? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> and he says, the water becomes the teacup. He says, become the water, my friend. You know, and it's really strong. The water we know is very powerful. Yeah. So when you just sit there and listen and let that connection happen with your hearing, it takes you to this place that you're so calm and you're so relaxed and you forget about everything else yeah. and you're back inside your true essence. Yes. Because yes. we're all connected to everything around us. I, I talk about grounding and I highly recommend to everyone, please walk around barefooted. Try to step on grass, try to step in the sand. Walk with your feet because our feet have been taken away from their true purpose. Our, tr our feet are always in these shoes, yeah, so yeah. all the receptors in our toes don't get the information to the brain that they're supposed to, which comes the to... The connection to the earth and the universe. Makes you, yeah, it just makes you more alive, more aware. And like, like they say in yoga, all these messengers, Muhammad, Jesus, Buddha, and all these messages had the same message, and it yeah. was wake up because we're asleep. And, and it's so true, and you start to pay attention to the inside because everything we need is on the inside. You know, you think about, oh, I'll go get a new Mercedes Benz. Yeah, you're excited, you drive it off the lot, and then you check on it three months later, how's your car? Eh, it's okay. You know, they're not excited anymore. Yeah, yeah. But when you go inside and you tap into that source, that doesn't go away. That excitement, that awareness, that consciousness is there all the time. And you look at the world differently, and it starts to change, and it starts to change your life. And that's the thing that yoga has done to me, right? Because I come from the projects of the Lower East Side. Yeah. So I grew up on the streets of New York. With 102nd Street? No, down on, on Avenue D got, got and it, got 8th it, Street, got it. Yeah, you yeah. know, down away okay. in the Lower East Side. Um, Alphabet Town. Alphabet City, they call it, yeah. Um, and Coming from the projects and, and being here in the Bronx many years as well, um, I see how all that we've been through, how disconnected we become from life. And when we become aware of what's really going on inside of us, right, you start to change everything. So yoga has taught me that if I keep following this journey of spirituality, because it is spiritual, yeah. right? it's not religious, because a lot of people hear yoga and they say, oh, that's a religious, or oh, the Hindus practice that. No. And when you follow this stuff, what it does, it, it detoxes your body, and it makes, it gets rid of toxins. Not only the toxins, but people in your life that are toxic, ah. they'll start to go away from you. Yeah. So it, that's the beauty of it. So go within. Yes. So well, that you can begin to explore and experience and find out how to get rid of the toxins and, and the people that you, need, you don't need to be around. Yeah. But it will, you'll gravitate toward the people you need to be around. So they, they'll come to you. They'll come to you. You'll attract that that you are. So it's a beautiful thing. So take a look within. Yes. Go in, please. I ask everybody, go in. Because if we all go inside, then we recognize that this is not who I am. Don't look at my color. Don't look at how my hair is. Look at the person inside because the person inside is the same inside of you. Yeah. And we're all the same. But division has come along, which is a system, divide and conquer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're black. Oh, yeah, I'm white. Oh, yeah, you're yellow. Oh, you're brown. You mm -hmm. know, that stuff is just propaganda. Yeah. You know, we're all the same mm -hmm. on the inside. There you go. All right, so where can we go to get more information on the wonderful things that you're doing? How can we go in? Okay. <laughs> My website is Jai Warrior Yoga, which means Victory Warrior Yoga. Jai, J-I, J-A-I. J-A-I, W-A-R-R-I-O-R, Yoga, Y-O-G-A, mm -hmm. dot com. Victor Chavez, give him a big round of applause, everybody. Fantastic yoga instructor. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. You got to do it. Can you do a demonstration the next time you come in? Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Victor. And uh, also a big shout out for um, our publicist for the Caribbean concerts, Mike Martinez. Thank you, Mike. All right, we got to take a quick break right here, but uh, we'll be right back with more open next.